everyone, I'm Charlene from So So Dressmaking and today I am going to be sharing a bit of a different video with you. Um, it's something that I've wanted to do for a long time and it is my wardrobe heroes. So the concept of this came probably from when I was still working in retail and it was a term that was used then for the key pieces in your wardrobe that just work for you and your style and what you the, the garments that you're more likely to reach for more of um all of the time. So um yeah I thought I would share mine with you and it kind of will give you a good idea of kind of my style and how I plan my wardrobe and the sort of things that I look for. This will be different for everyone. Not everyone is gonna love a blazer and t-shirt and jeans and um, that's just what works for me I'm really comfortable in it and I love the style so I want to talk you through um, this and why I choose the items and then it will maybe help you um, figure out what your wardrobe heroes are what it is that you're always reaching for and then it really does help sort of narrow down your style and get a real cohesive wardrobe that works together so let's get started So first thing that I'm going to talk about, and um, well actually the first three things we'll talk about is basically what I'm wearing today. So one of my favourite outfits ever has always been a good pair of high-waisted jeans, an oversized t-shirt and a blazer. I just, and then usually I would team up with a pair of trainers. So I have my, let me see, can you see them? My, my white fit has, we'll pop a picture in if you didn't see them there. Um, I would wear these probably three or four times a week. Um, I also have white Converse and a couple other different pairs of trainers, which sometimes I would switch between. But a classic pair of white trainers just, I think, goes with so much. And you'll see when I'm talking through this, it does go with a lot of the things I have. So at the moment, my go-to t-shirt pattern is the Just Patterns Tyra T. I have three of them and I am planning on making a few more. So I have this white one and um, it has like a wee sort of a print on it just to make it a wee bit different and then the orange one that I'm wearing now it is a great one for wearing with uh, or for making with a just a cotton jersey I've also tried it with a tensile jersey and it has a nice bit of drape to it and yeah I just think it has the right amount of like an oversized fit and um, this is it tucked into my jeans it is quite long but it's the sort of thing that I can team with a lot of different outfits so obviously here I'm wearing it with my jeans I wore it with my jacket chargers my Arden pants with joggers with leggings just with loads of different things with skirts as well it's perfect so it's the sort of t this is the style of t-shirt that I really like obviously some people might like a more fitted t-shirt or some people might like something with like a scoop neck or a v-neck or a shorter sleeve or maybe three quarter sleeve things like that you kind of it's just one of those basics that you would reach for a lot and that kind of brings a lot of um garments together then next thing is my dawn jeans so i have two pairs of these and i've just recently swap the zip on these so that um, the button closure that I had done before it never stopped me wearing them but it sort of pulled a bit and I was never quite happy with it so I finally unpicked it and put a zip in it's not perfect but obviously they're very much wearable and they feel so much more comfortable now and then I have this lighter pair as well and I have a black pair cut out too so this style of like a kind of like a high-waisted vintage style um, maybe not quite mom jean but it does have that like vintage 501 Levi's sort of feel and again I this would be won't work for just as many situations I will say some of these other things do it can be dressed up or dressed down but the t-shirt and jeans this is just a typical everyday outfit for me which I love to throw on um, I love the high waist of the jeans it just feels more comfortable on me and yeah I just I really really love this style I love this look um, I think jeans are one of those things not everybody loves them um, so some people prefer skinny jeans maybe some people prefer trousers like a chino or 
um, joggers, that sort of thing. But I, yeah, I just absolutely love them. And the colours that I have work with more or less all the tops that I have in my wardrobe. So I have the two lighter colours which work really, really well for summer and winter. It goes with all my sweaters and t-shirts, shirts blouses all that sort of thing it just works really really well with them and now I want to have that darker pair as well which I think will work really really well in my wardrobe too then the next thing is my collection of blazers so this one here that I'm wearing now is a ready to wear blazer when I worked in, in my last job in retail in H&M, I was always keeping an eye out for blazers in the sale. So this one and this one here, they're probably two of the most worn, ready to wear items that I have. And they both cost me less than a tenner, so they were an absolute bargain. So in terms of cost, in terms of cost per wear of this whole outfit, I'd say I've easily wore them all minimum 30 times and at least probably more. Um, so yeah, I just, I love a t-shirt, jeans and blazer. I just, I think this is just such a classic outfit. The jeans and the t-shirt are quite casual, but then the blazer pulls it all together and makes it just a wee bit smarter. And it's perfect for throwing on in the spring, summer, just instead of a jacket or a coat, it's really handy just to throw a blazer on over the t-shirt um, and then you're ready to go. In terms of the main yet ones I have, I absolutely love this pink blair blazer and um, this is by Homer and Hiles. I made this last summer. It's part of a suit that's the shorts in there. I am planning a linen, beige linen one of these. Now this year slightly more cropped. I have a checked one. I have a blue floral one. Um, I would love to make a black one as well. Like a classic black blazer, white t-shirt and jeans. It's just like the ultimate <laughs> classic style. I have wee loafers that I would wear with them sometimes. I can easily change it to sandals for during the summer if I want. And um, yeah, or boots then during the winter too. So yeah, I just think the great thing then about a blazer is to, obviously it works really well for adding a sort of a smarter touch to a casual outfit, but it also works really well thrown over a dress too. So if you're going out for the night or if you're just for any time really at all, I just think the blazer works so well over so many of my dresses too. I mean, so this sort of more classic tweed style, I love it over this dress here. Um, I've worn this outfit so many times. It'll work over quite a few of these dresses here. Um, the pink one, you can see it'll go quite nicely over my Sadavi dress, it's pulling out the wee bits of pink in the flowers there. So yeah, I think having a few blazers in your wardrobe is just one of those things that can really help pull a lot of outfits together. Again, a blazer's not going to be for everyone. For you, it might be your collection of cardigans or just maybe you like denim jackets or like a workwear style jacket, an Ilford, a flannel jacket, a shacket, anything at all. It's just what works for you with um, as like that ideal extra layer or for just pulling a couple of different outfits together. Then the next one I have, this is something that I was searching for for a very long time and finally made last year, classic white shirt. So I would say most people have a white shirt in their wardrobe, it might not be something you wear, it might be one of those things you have for like interviews or something like quite boring but for me again this with a pair of jeans and a blazer pair of trainers I just love that look and I think finding the right style of white shirt for you is something that will just it'll just work forever I mean I could put this on with a pair of smart trousers like maybe my Jackie trousers and a blazer and feel really put together and maybe ready for like an office or an interview or something like that. You could pair it with a pair of black skinny jeans and a pair of heels and ready for a night out um, with some nice jewellery and yeah I just think a white shirt I love. So this is the Alia, I can't remember if I said that and it just has the right amount of oversized for what I was looking for. Um, I love the details of the pockets and then obviously the yoke and the sleeves and everything. It's just a really, really lovely piece. And it is something that I maybe don't wear just as much around the kids, 
but I do still wear it quite a lot. Um, even I think for holidays, if you were going away, whatever a holiday is, um, do you remember? I think over with a pair of shorts, thrown over a bikini or your swimsuit, it's just such an easy cover up to have as well. Um, and yeah, I just think it's the sort of thing you will get so much wear out of um, in your wardrobe and I know that I do. So then, last wee section here is what I'm calling the wear anywhere dresses. So I am a very big fan of um, dresses that work for loads of different um, situations, loads of different occasions and I've done quite a few styling um, like reels and like taking loads of photos of my makes styled in different ways my dresses so these are the sort of main ones that I've pulled out they will work casually with a pair of trainers or boots and um, they'll work maybe a wee bit smarter so if you're going for dinner or if you were going out for a night they would you could put a pair of heels on and wear them out properly if you're doing something like maybe an afternoon tea I mean this one here I think I have wore, I've worn it with trainers, I've worn it with flat boots, I've worn it with heeled boots, I've worn it with sandals like high sandals Um, yeah I've just worn it so many different ways you can put a belt on with it, you can wear it with a jumper, a blazer, so so many different ways and it's the same with all of these dresses I mean this is one of my newest ones the Fibre Mid Maya classic black dress but I can wear it with pair of heels, I can wear it with my black biker boots, I can wear it with trainers now during the summer and denim jacket and it's just going to work with so many things but they all have something just to make them a wee bit sort of special and stand out a wee bit so obviously this one we've got the um, the sleeve feature and the really nice fitted waist and my bias t-shirt dress I think I have worn this one a lot too. It's just so comfy. I feel so confident in it. Again, great with trainers or with like my high tops or boots or just loads of different things. And yeah, it just, it's beautiful and it works the colors. So obviously these are all quite dark colors and I do, my favorite dresses usually are a darker print because I just think it works with more of my wardrobe and if I want to lighten it up I can pull in a lighter coloured jacket or something or boots but a lot of my dresses um, they are this sort of like a, a darker coloured palette I do have a few lighter coloured ones planned now for this summer and I'm hoping um, yeah that they will work just as well but I think these darker colours like I will still wear these during the summer and then obviously they're great for during the winter too so I think I just get more wear out of them like year round um, I have my Shelly dress here which I love with my black boots and a pair of tights um, during the winter but I also think with a really nice pair of like black really really high heels this would be amazing for a night out too. I just absolutely love it with the big sleeves and the shorter length. I just think it is great. Um, so yeah, I just have had this idea in my head for so long talking about the pieces in my wardrobe that I just I love and that work for me and that I pull out all the time and I thought it might be useful for some other people and um, yeah just to get an idea of how my wardrobe all sort of ties together obviously there's always going to be other things that kind of you know make you excited and make you want to sew as well but I think these are the, the core items of my wardrobe and the ones that I would wear probably a lot more than anything else and yeah I just love them all. <laughs> so yeah, obviously I'm wearing basically this outfit today that I've just talked about so yeah um, I hope you've enjoyed this and found it useful and um, if you have any questions or if you want to share what you think your wardrobe heroes are please please leave me a comment down below I would love to know. Um, and yeah i hope you have enjoyed this um if you want to support what i'm doing and buy me a coffee over my coffee page i will link that down below i have a blog post as well to go with this and i will try and link as many of the like patterns and fabric shops and stuff as well if you just want to have a wee nosy at any of it i'll have it linked down in the comments or in the description as well so i hope everyone's having a lovely day and i will chat to you all soon